Hi all, I hope you are doing good. So in today's video we will discuss how we can add a chart on our uh, role center page and remove some of the unused component which we don't use in our role center page. So uh, what you can see on my screen is uh, the standard sales order processor role center which is shipped with the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2016. So as you can see there are so many components in this page uh, which may or may not be useful for me like uh, there's something called report inbox uh, which works on certain specific conditions which where, where there are my items my customers and there is a beautiful chart of trailing sales order where I can change uh, based on the options available now uh, most of us know how to remove the components which uh, are not being used so let's just uh, a brief demo of that you can select on the gear icon uh, next to the component which you don't want and you can select as remove so as soon as I click remove that component has been removed from my system so I'll remove some of the component which I don't actually use uh, as a part of my daily job so that my role center page uh, have so much space which I can utilize for other components now this is what my role center page looks like when I'm uh, have removed uh, the unused components now with Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 and onwards Microsoft has shipped so many standard charts for the product which we can choose from uh, based on our uh, role in the company and those chart can be added on the role center page so let's see how we can add a chart uh, being a role uh, center uh, operator for the sales order processor I would like to view uh, the number of sales order based on per locations that I have set up in Microsoft Dynamics Snap so from this uh, icon I go to the customize and say and select customize this page when I click on this uh, icon I get a menu like this where the parts which I removed or the components which I removed are uh, here like uh, my notification my items my job queue my customer in the same way there is one more part we call them as a part in Microsoft Dynamics snap that is called as chart part I can click on add so now in my role center there are two areas one is this uh, activity section and one is this so it is actually divided into two parts so now if I uh, want to add a chart I can add the chart part and then select the blank chart and say customize part when I say customize part uh, this shows me the available charts which Microsoft shipped or your partner has developed for you so I'm looking for something sales order per location yes well, the location voice sales order count I select the chart and I click OK as I click OK my role center get refresh and I see a additional chart of location voice how many sales orders are there and these charts get updated automatically as you start uh, using your system you create sales order you post the sales order it get reduced and all those stuffs uh, now you don't want to use uh, add multiple uh, charts on the page because then the page looks uh, page will have so many components and it will be hard to navigate so you can change it from here without going to the, uh, the whole menu and say customize when you click customize you again see the same screen over here uh, which we uh, shown earlier now you can select let's say sales order for the status what are the statuses of my sales order so these many order which is 22 orders are open whereas 21 are released and one is which is pending for approval from the Microsoft Dynamics NAV system now these are some standard charts which are uh, available with the system if you would like to have the custom chart based on your requirement you can contact your partner or if you are a tech savvy guy uh, 
then stay tuned uh, we'll cover that topic in uh, upcoming video where we will tell you how you can create a simple chart without um, having a developer license or without modifying the standard dynamic snap but they have certain limitations which we will discuss into the next video hope you like the video please do like share and comment on the video stay tuned for more see you next time thank you